This washing machine is showing an E15 error code. Along with this, another issue occurs where, when you try to turn the machine on using the power button, it doesn't work at all. Despite repeatedly pressing the button, the display doesn't turn off. So in this situation, after removing the power supply, we will try to repair it. What happened next was that the machine took in too much water. When the machine takes excessive water, this problem can arise. Normally, if the machine takes excess water, there's a function that drains the extra water. However, if for some reason the drain system isn't working, this problem can occur. What you need to do is clean the machine's drain system as well to resolve the issue. Now, there can be several reasons why the machine is taking in too much water. What we did was disconnect the machine from the power by removing the switch. So now, when the switch is plugged back in and the machine is turned on again, you'll notice that the E15 error is still showing, but the water has started draining. However, even though the water is draining, the error is still appearing. Once the water has completely drained from the machine, the issue should go away. Now, the water has been fully drained, but the E15 error is still flashing on the display. So what we need to do next is turn the machine off once, but the power isn't turning off, so we unplug the switch again and plug it back in. Now, when we turn the machine on again, you'll see that the error has been cleared and the machine has returned to its reset position. This is how to fix the E15 if the problem is temporary. But if a permanent error appears, what should you do then? And what could be the causes of a permanent error? Let me explain that as well. There can be two main reasons for this error. Either a mechanical part has failed or an electronic part is faulty. If we talk about the mechanical parts, the issue could be with the water inlet solenoid valve installed here. This is the main cause that can lead to the machine taking in too much water. If this valve becomes faulty for any reason, such as hard water in your area, it could cause blockage and the valve may repeatedly fail. To address this, we have made a video that you can watch for guidance. If the issue is electrical, then you need to check the PCB. There are three wires connected here. Two are common, one is light green and the other is white. After checking the wires, observe its behavior carefully. If the machine is running, taking water, and the water keeps flowing for more than five to six minutes, this could indicate an electrical fault. In this case, you will need to inspect the PCB. However, if no electricity is reaching the valves, but the machine is still taking water, it is likely a mechanical problem. In that case, you either need to clean the valves or replace them. Another reason for the E15 error could arise, even when all the mechanical components I mentioned earlier and the electrical parts are working perfectly fine, but the machine is still not taking water and the E15 error is showing. In this case, the issue might be with the PCB or the water flow switch. If the mechanical parts inside the water flow switch become faulty, this problem can also occur. To fix this, you should watch the uploaded video that explains this in detail, helping you understand what a water flow switch is and how to fix it. Now, regarding the PCB, as I mentioned before, you need to remember the wire color codes to know which wires are connected. We observed that there's a light green and a white wire connected to a purple connector. Now, you need to check what might be faulty. If the relay is the issue, multiple relays are used for different functions on the PCB. You should inspect them because if one of these relays gets stuck in the on position, electricity will continuously flow to the solenoid valves and water will keep entering the machine causing the E15 error. In short, check the relay carefully to ensure they're not stuck, as this could be the cause of the persistent E15 error. Click on the left or right thumbnail to watch our next videos and subscribe. Thank you.